Hey everybody, I'm Russo. I do a little work here and there. And it looks like we're back in the Ready Ward. This time to do some more Blood Bowl stuff. That's right, Blood Bowl, namely some easy conversions. This time we are working from a single box to make our entire team, in this case, Wood Elves. And yes, that does mean we're not going to have our big guy, the Tree Man but that's fine. I'm sure we'll get back to it later, but for now we have this, a box of Wood Elves. Or, to be more exact, a Wood Elf Glade Guard Regiment box. Now, this is pre-Sigmar, and I should say that I only bought this because it was 60% off at the time. So, you never know, you might be able to find a good deal, but if you gotta get it online today, it's probably gonna be closer to retail. Anyway, what's inside? A bunch of sprues and enough pieces to make 16 wood elves. As we noted before, 16 Wood Elves will make us a full Blood Bowl roster, so this is pretty good. That being said, from the box, they all look a little samey, so I'm gonna go through my process. Most of this is just cutting the sprues apart, checking your positional players and their skills, and figuring out how you can make all of the positions distinct along the way. So to that point, I've already done all of those things. And in this plastic craft box, you can see all of the pieces divided up into their own little categories. Or I suppose more than that, they're divided up into particular types. But who cares about my organizational system, especially when these things are all going to get redistributed in a moment anyway. But yeah, you'll do something like this, get all the pieces Pieces, see what you got, separate them all out. But yeah, we'll start with what we have the least different types of and go from there. So, legs. There's really not much to say here. There are four types of legs. And with this team, the Wood Elves, I guess my only suggestion here would be to make sure positional players have the same legs so it's like they're wearing the same outfit. With the linebackers, there aren't enough of any of the singular types of legs for all of them to be the same, so we won't worry about that. But we will worry about what we can control, and that's the positional players. So I will take this moment to quickly mention that there are four positions we are filling linemen catchers throwers and war dancers throwers and war dancers of which you can have up to two catchers of which you can have up to four and linemen of which you can have up to 16 but we've only got 16 guys so I'm thinking 10 and 2 and 2 and 2 and that works out for our legs so let's move to the next body part and that just so happens to be bodies so broadly speaking we have two types of bodies bodies with arms attached and bodies without arms attached of the with arm variety everybody's got bows and they're either drawing the bows back or they've just let go of the arrow so right arm attached to the body right arm away from the body but there are other distinctions here one of which is that two of these sets of four have a little set of leaf cape tips built in where the other set of four does not but also eight out of the 12 are female where the other four are male male ones all the way to the left and similarly male ones all the way to the right because we have male and female bodies without arms so these are pretty simple they're flat on the necks and the waists and if I flip either or both types over, there's a half circular divot in the back where the capes will be attached. Now for these, I only really have two thoughts, chief amongst which is that the bodies without arms should go to the positional players. And most of that is just to differentiate them from the linemen. And just checking, that is how it's written, line men, huh? So uh, my second point is is that I have the opportunity, so I might as well make this team 50-50, male and female. Might as well. So, yeah. On to the caves. Some of which look pretty exciting. They're all pretty good. Uh, the three on the right are merely representations of further sets of four. All of these come in sets of four. And, as you can see, there are five different capes. So, five capes, four of each, four positions. It sounds like it would work out, but it really doesn't because we have 10 linemen. So yeah, you could easily remedy this by having eight linemen and four catchers. 
But you know what? I don't care. I'm probably never going to want four wood elf catchers. So yeah, two point capes, three point capes, four plus point capes left to right. And I'm going to say the light two point capes go to the throwers because they need to move. The catchers are going to carry the ball around so they might get hit. They need the big three point cape. I like the cape in the bottom right hand corner with all the jagged bits on it for the war dancer. And that leaves those top two on the side for linebackers. And then uh, two of the other ones, I guess the two point capes. And I don't think that mismatching will matter too much. My thought is that the capes are what will differentiate the people, that and the heads. But the capes will do it through their lining color. Uh, there's not really much detail on the lining, but if I use second edition base colors on the insides of the capes, I think that'll work pretty well. But uh, maybe more on that later. In addition to standard cleanup, I think these will need the feathers taken out of the quivers. Why? Well, weapons. Uh, this is Blood Bowl, and you can't have weapons unless they are hidden weapons. Here we are very lucky to have bows and swords, in addition to one already just empty open hand. So yeah, everything you see here, we got four of each. So for the left arm, we have three different bows, the middle of which here is the arm sticking straight out to the side. The other two are down to the front a little bit. And we also have a left arm that is a sword. We'll get these separated out. For the right arm, all we got is a sword and that open hand. Now, there are a few other arms in the box, but they're things that would be difficult to cut away from, you know, whatever's there. You, you just wouldn't have any detail when you were done. Things like banners and horns, I think. I mean, horns are good. If you're going to have a Blood Bowl band, keep those horns around for when you need them. But we're making 16 players, so we're not going to need horns for now. But these are just for the three positional players, not the linemen. So really, here you can do whatever you want. But I'm going to try to make the war dancers look like they're dancing. Oh, whatever that means for a wood elf. I'm going to make the throwers look like they're maybe throwing or picking a person out to throw to. And I'm going to make the catchers look like they're maybe waiting to catch a ball. Pretty easy. And the linebackers, we don't have to worry about picking arms, but the weapons do need to get cut out of their hands as well. And for the most part, this is easy. Just clip with some flush cutters, and then I scrape around with the tip of a razor until it looks like a hand. It's not the best thing in the world, and you'll see that later. So stick with me here. We're almost done. Next up, we have uh, heads. Heads. So we had four types of legs, five types of bodies, five types of capes, and five types of arms. And here we have 11 distinct heads. So yeah, 11 heads, as you might imagine, four of each. I have them divided here between hooded heads and non-hooded heads. And I know the hooded heads are a little difficult to see, but with the non-hooded heads, we still have a few varieties. At the top, no helm. In the middle, we have full helms and half helms. And the half helm ones, the ones on the right, as you imagine, only have a helm on one half. And you can see that with the one at the bottom, which is a third variety. Yeah, it's pretty much just like the one above it, except the braid is on the opposite side. But hey, still different. Of the hooded heads, we have uh, what I'll call hooded head, no mask. Then hooded head, no mask, with a little bit of hair on one side the left side. Uh, and then we have three with masks over the bottoms of their faces. The first one, it's like some rope and it's in one configuration. The second one is also like rope, but in a slightly different configuration. And the third one is more like their outfits, uh, where it's stitched together. So with these, my thought is to give all of the hooded heads to the linebackers. And since there are ten linebackers and five different heads, I'll just rotate through and use each of the heads twice. More variety that way. As for the other heads, I'm going to give the full helms to the catchers. Because, you know, like I said, they carry the ball around a lot. If they catch the ball, they carry it around a lot. So they need to look like maybe they can take some punishment. And that means that the throwers will get the half helmets. Mainly because they need some protection, but they also need to be able to see. And that leaves the no helm head for the war dancers. And, you know, their job, they don't need a helmet. They just need to dance. So what's left from here? Nothing. 
Okay, well let's see some examples of the models put together. And yeah, there you have it. Based on pennies, just because they were laying around, we have the linebacker, which has a hooded head, the single piece body and arms, and which will get a gray lining, maybe like a chainmail thing on the inside of its cloak. Next up, we have a catcher, full helm, doing what is sort of a grappling pose. I don't really know what that is, but this one has that bigger three-point cape, and it will be yellow, maybe like a gold mail for the lining. Next in line is the thrower with sort of a fist out. I could have cut one of the fingers and tried to bend it in place, but eh, it looks like a hand now, and I don't want to ruin that. So, most notable here is the half helmet and the light accoutrement overall because this is a player that needs to get in, get the ball, and get the ball out. As such, this one has the lightest two-point cape and the lining of that will be, what, white? I think white. I don't know what kind of metal that would be. Maybe steel versus the iron of the linebacker. Who knows? And lastly, we have a war dancer striking a bit of a pose. No helmet. The spikiest cape of all. And I'm going to make that cape green on the inside, which I know is the blocker color. But that was second edition. What am I supposed to do? It's that or choose my own color and based on their team colors I'm just about out they're gonna be green and yellow like brown leathery bits and standard gray metal here and there probably just the rings and stuff or maybe a buckle if I can find one a buckle or a toggle or just the lining around something but there won't be very much so of the cape colors the only one that's not really represented there is the white cape of the thrower but again I think it's excusable it's just the inside lining and yeah it's just a little thing but I really think it should make it easy to call out which one of these is which even if the rest of the paint job doesn't do that but yeah that's basically it this is an example of what the four positions will look like but they will all look different so if you want to do what I did just make a list of all your your parts and either letter or number them and once you know which parts are going to go where then you can make sure that you aren't repeating combinations of parts if you don't have to but yeah I would love to get these guys painted but I don't really have time right now I'm trying to get another video put together for today but you know that gives you a little extra time if there's a particular part of the process that you'd like to see you'll probably be able to let me know before that video sees the light of day but until then, or until next time, this has been the Ready Ward on Russo Works, and I'm Rousseau. Out. Oh.